To render a view, let's start by opening the Render dialog by selecting Show Render dialog in the View control bar. We can then choose the quality of the rendering. These options range from Draft to Best. To see the differences in rendering quality, let's start by selecting Draft. Then select the Render button to start the rendering process. Now Revit will start making passes over our view in order to apply the render appearances assigned to the elements. In total, this rendering has taken only about a minute. Once rendered, we also have the option to show the model or to show the rendered view. When showing the rendered view, the last rendering will always be displayed even if the camera in the 3D view has been moved. For comparison, let's create a new rendered view of higher quality. Change the quality setting to medium and start the rendering process. Now, Revit will make multiple passes over the view. Each pass adds finer detail to the view to create a more lifelike representation of our model. As the rendering finishes, notice that the process has taken nearly 5 minutes. Once our view has been created, let's edit the quality settings to see why exactly the detail improves. Using the draft option, Notice that the advanced render settings are set very low for options such as the image precision or pixelation, the number of reflections and refractions, the shadow precision, and how much light bounces off objects. Switching to best, these options increase drastically and we can even create more advanced custom settings if desired. The output resolution of our image can also be changed. We can use the screen resolution, or we can change to a printer resolution and choose our desired DPIs. While increasing these settings creates a better image, the trade-off is the amount of time it takes to make these high-quality images. Before rendering a whole view, it is often helpful to render only sections of the view that may need extra attention. To render a region, select the Region option, which will display a red box within our view. Drag the borders of the box until the desired region is framed. For this example, let's focus on the door. Now, let's select a quality setting and start the rendering process. Notice that the region we have selected is the only thing that shows up in this view. As with the full view, we can now choose to show the model or the rendered view. To change the lighting level and how shadows are cast, we can edit the sun settings. In the lighting option, we can simply change the direction of the sun. Using the still position, we can open the location dialog and choose an actual location for our model. We can also choose a date and time for the sun location. The location can also be changed in the single and multi-day options. However, these options create a rendered solar study video of our model. Every frame of this video must be rendered, so this is a very time-intensive process. To further customize a view, we can change the background properties to choose how the sky will look. Select the background style and notice the options we are presented with. We can choose how many clouds are in the sky, we can select a solid color, or we can import our own image. Select the image option and open the Customize Image dialog. 
click on image and browse your computer for your own pictures of the sky or horizon until you find a picture that you're satisfied with. Select the photo, choose how you want the photo to be displayed in the background, and select OK. Now, when we render the view, the photo we have chosen will replace the current background. Once again, we can choose to show the model or show the rendered view. To fine tune our rendered view, we can adjust the exposure settings. Open the exposure settings dialog. Now we are able to edit the exposure value, the brightness of the highlights, midtones and shadows, and the white point and saturation values. For this example, let's increase the brightness of the rendering. Now let's darken the highlights. Select apply to see these changes. When finished, select OK to exit the Exposure Control dialog.